Well, welcome back. Every Wednesday we introduce you to a shelter animal looking for a forever home. Since we launched WPBF to the rescue, we've featured dogs, cats, bunnies, and even guinea pigs. That's right. Now our Taylor Hernandez is taking over this initiative and will join us here at 9 o'clock every Wednesday. Taylor is a huge animal welfare advocate. If you know her, she has the biggest heart. You're taking a look right now of some of the different stories she and the rest of our team have covered over the past year, highlighting the importance of spaying and neutering, animal vaccinations, and advocating for bully breeds. Taylor joining us in studio to kick things off. Taylor, look at the sweet pup you have there in front of you. I know, he's such a little angel. Thanks, guys. I'm here with um, Brittany Kephart from the Big Dog Ranch, and we have Bear with us this morning. Hi, Angel. Before we get started, I want to remind you, you can scan the QR code on the bottom right of your screen at any time during this interview. It'll take you to a lot more information about Bear and Big Dog Ranch. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Can Absolutely. you tell us a little bit more about this guy? Yeah, this is Bear. He's just shy of eight months old, and he's had kind of a rough start. He came from the county shelter, had a broken jaw, and we have them all fixed up, ready to go. He's good as new and just looking for a great home. Yeah, and we were chatting a little bit before the interview. He, He's acting right now, <laughs> but he has a lot of spunk. He's very playful. He's, he's just a little puppy. So talk to me about his ideal home. His ideal home could be just about anything. He is dog friendly. He loves people. He'd be great with kids, um, an apartment, a house, pretty much anything. He keeps to himself and is pretty content in his crate if you need that. And he was very submissive. Like every time we yeah. went up to someone, he would roll right over, ask for the belly scratches. He just wants to be up against people, right? He does, he does. He's a little lover. Definitely. And you guys are also offering an obedience class with him because you know, he's like any puppy. He could use a little, a little sit, a little stay, but he is crate trained. He is crate trained. He's very good in the crate and very quiet. But yeah, um, we do offer a class. We wanna make sure their transition into a home is good for you and them. Yeah, and let's talk about an event you guys have coming up, Barks and Brews. Tell me about it. Barks and Brews is one of our favorite events. It's in Palm Beach Gardens. This year it is October 6th, and we have some breweries out there. There's uh, beer for the day. We have dogs. You can bring your dogs. It's a really fun event, and the community always loves it. Yeah, that sounds like it. you got beer, you got dogs, you got <laughs> an outdoor event in Florida. What more could you need? Exactly. Well, Bear, again, about seven, eight months old. He's crate trained. He's such a little peach. <laughs> He's people friendly. He's dog friendly. And you would never know that he had his jaw wired shut. He is looking at that camera. Look <laughs> at him. Good job, Bear. Thank you so much for being here. You can find more information about Bear and about Big Dog Ranch by calling them at 561-791-6465. And we have all of that information on our website, wpbf.com, and our free mobile app. Vanessa?